The ingenious design of the aluminum beverage can. Every year, nearly a half trillion of these cans are manufactured. That's about 15,000 per second. So many that we overlook the can's superb engineering. Let's start with why the can is shaped like it is. Why a cylinder? An engineer might like to make a spherical can. It has the smallest surface area for a given volume, and so it uses the least amount of material. And it also has no corners, and so no weak points, because the pressure in the can uniformly stresses the walls. But a sphere is not practical in manufacture, and of course, it'll roll off the table. Also, when packed as closely as possible, only 74% of the total volume is taken up by the product. The other 26% is void space, which goes unused when transporting the cans or in a store display. An engineer could solve this problem by making a cuboid-shaped can. It sits on a table, but it's uncomfortable to hold and awkward to drink from, and while easier to manufacture than a sphere, these edges are weak points and require very thick walls but the cuboid surpasses the sphere in packing efficiency. It has almost no wasted space, although at the sacrifice of using more surface area to contain the same volume as the sphere. So, to create a can, engineers use a cylinder, which has elements of both shapes. From the top, it's like a sphere, and from the side, it's like a cuboid. A cylinder has a maximum packing factor of about 91%, not as good as the cuboid, but better than the sphere. Most important of all, the cylinder can be rapidly manufactured. The can begins as this disc called a blank, punched from an aluminum sheet about three-tenths of a millimeter thick. The first step starts with a drawing die, on which sits the blank and then a blank holder that rests on top. We'll look at a slice of the die so we can see what's happening. A cylindrical punch presses down on the die, forming the blank into a cup. This process is called drawing. This cup is about 88 millimeters in diameter, larger than the final can, so it's redrawn. That process starts with this wide cup and uses another cylindrical punch and a redrawing die. The punch presses